Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. I'm our Beth Dunn, and welcome to the World Miracle Peace Experiment, our summer of global peace. We're almost to the end of summer, but our world peace experiment will continue. And uh, today, I hope you had an opportunity to catch my live um, conversation about peace with the amazing Dr. Jamie Turndorf also known as Dr. Love, the amazing Dr. Love, international best-selling Hay House author and, and uh, creator of the Ask Dr. Love website that has been around since 1995. And it was just a really great experience. I really hope you have an opportunity to tap into a completely different way of accessing peace. And uh, I, I was just greeted when I walked outside today by the most magnificent bird song. It was, I would just stood here and just completely mesmerized by this bird. He just sang his heart out and it just continued and continued and continued. And it was just the most beautiful bird song. Um, he's not singing now, he just finished. But he was singing for about five minutes. And I just stood here, just mesmerized, just breathing in the, the air, the, the smell of rain is in the air. Hi, Catherine. Uh, so I was breathing in the air. Here, you can hear him now, I hope. Yeah, he's um, just chirping along and singing such beautiful, beautiful, beautiful music. You know, and I've learned that birds have a language of their own, and um, they they learn to develop it when they're when they're baby birds. <laughs> so, if you can hear him, I would like to just step back and let this bird just talk to us about peace because he knows what he's talking about. If you can hear him, yeah, he's. Can you hear him, guys? You know. <laughs> Oh, he is just singing along and it's just making me just smile. Reminds me of a story there was once a very wise sage and people from all over came to hear him speak. And as he stood out on his balcony looking out over the crowd, a bird flew and landed right on the railing right beside him. And the bird just sang his heart out just the way this bird is singing right now if you can hear him. And he didn't say a word. And after the bird sang for 10 or 15 minutes, he stopped and flew away. And the man said, that was our lesson for today. <laughs> so that is a beautiful lesson of peace, to be able to stand and just be in the moment and hearing, connecting, being with nature. Nature is just so beautiful, yes. He just stopped, but hopefully he'll be singing again. And I wanted to talk with you guys today about, about peace. You know, there's, uh, there's a, a definition that it's just the cessation of violence. And that, you know, people sometimes have a feeling that they have to give something up in order to find peace. They have to sacrifice something, maybe some value, or um, maybe some land, or maybe it's um, your personal power. But that's not really what peace is. Peace is not the cessation of violence. It's not, it's not kowtowing to power. Real peace is when you open your heart up to source, when you open your heart up to whatever, to connect with, with all of our brothers and sisters on the planet, when you recognize that you're not a body, that you can't be hurt as a body, because you are pure love, pure peace. When you step into this recognition of who you are. When you step into this ability <clears throat> to access 
the greater knowledge and wisdom of source, God, the universe, whatever you want to call it. That is peace of God. That's something that's just so real. And when you're here, you're actually in the world, but you're not seeing yourself. You may be seeing yourself, but you're, there's a detachment there. You've actually risen above it. And so you're not caught up in the daily uh, stresses. And even if you are, you can choose to see them differently and step into a place of, I'm choosing to be peaceful. And then you know what's the right decision. And it doesn't mean, you know, like kowtowing to someone in an argument. You know, and then it said, well, you know, would I rather be right or would I rather be happy? Truthfully, I'd rather be happy. Happiness is, a, is an important value for me. Not so much about being right. But I just choose what's going to make me more peaceful. And it may be standing up for myself. And, and being in my power. So what's going to make you more peaceful today? Tap in and see, how can I be more peaceful today? I am choosing to be peaceful right now. Now we have an airplane or helicopter going right overhead. And I'm choosing to be peaceful. It's all good, it's all beautiful, and I'm so grateful and, and blessed and happy to be here with you today. So let us take a deep breath. Just inhale. Feel the gratitude for all that is, for bird songs, for the rain, for everyone who's participating in this beautiful experiment. Feel the love that's building between all of us and let's send love and blessings to each other on the broadcast. Let's send those blessings out and feel them coming back. Giving and receiving is the same. Feel the love, the peace, the joy and feel it just bubbling over, bubbling over. Yes, that's to me, those bird songs are joy. The bird is just singing his heart out with just pure love and pure joy. Just a beautiful expression. Just feel that rising up in your heart. Feel it rising up from the very depths of your soul, this bubbling up of joy, of love, of peace. Yes, and let's share this out with each other. Love and joy and peace, it's contagious. When you're here in this state, woo, people want to be with you. Mm, feel that bubbling up and bubbling up from within. A beautiful fountain bubbling up in the center of our field of unified love and joy and miracles our field of loving, unified consciousness. Mm, my arms are tingling, I'm feeling it. Mm. And it's bubbling up, it, we just can't contain it, it's just, it's bubbling up beyond us. It's just welling up, this joy, this love, this peace, just welling up, and it's, it's embracing our whole planet. Just feel it embracing our planet. The love, feel that love. That sweetness of a beautiful, warm, loving embrace. The gentleness, the love, the ability to accept as it is from a place of pure love pure joy, pure peace, just feel it. Our entire planet is embraced with love and peace and joy. We are all so powerful, especially when we are united. And now let's focus on the Middle East Embracing the Middle East with love, with joy, with peace. 
feeling that love surging within, that acceptance. It's okay to be who I am. And I can embrace differences. I may not agree with them, but I respect them. Feel that love and respect, collaboration, working together for the good of all. A beautiful thing. So feel that love, feel that joy, feel that peace. And if you had an opportunity to watch my, my live uh, conversation about peace this morning with the amazing Dr. Love, Dr. Jamie Turndorf, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did not, it was a really fabulous conversation from a completely different perspective. She's going to be leading our meditation tomorrow. I love Jamie, she's, she's a dear friend. On Wednesday, Dr. Lynn Morell <clears throat> will be having a conversation about peace with me from a completely different vantage point, and then she'll lead the meditation on Friday. And on Saturday, what do we have on Saturday? Gary Stewart. Gary Stewart, the amazing constellation um, healing master will be leading a meditation on 9-11, on which is going to be very profound. But we'll have the conversation about peace with him on Saturday. So lots of yummy, juicy things as we continue with the World Miracle Peace Experiment. And uh, we will be having some special, um, some special panels about peace. So stay tuned for that. We'll be telling you more about that. All kinds of wonderful, beautiful things happening. I'm so grateful for you. Tell your friends, bring on more friends to these, these uh, meditation broadcasts. It's been found uh, by Dr. John Hagelin that we have based this experiment on in part. Oh, and he did an experiment in uh, Lebanon, in, in Israel. They, when they were uh, meditating in Israel, all these transcendental med meditation lists, as they were meditating there, the level of murders dropped 70% in neighboring Lebanon. So we have a profound effect, but let's gather more numbers. We need more people. I would love to have you reach out and bring more people into this experiment. It's so worth it. Seven minutes a day to world peace. I love you. And uh, tomorrow it is Dr. Jamie Turndorf, who is going to be leading the meditation. I will see you on Monday. So much love. <laughs>